All right. Here's our new phone that we just got. It's the uh, Sprint Galaxy S2 Epic Touch. And this is our old phone, the uh, Hero, that we've had for a little over two years. And we just upgraded and got our new phones, and I thought we'd show uh, some of the differences. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the Hero. And Galaxy S. Now Galaxy S has a really black screen. Looks really good. Now the Hero is uh, I did break the phone or jailbreaker as some people call it. I rooted it and I have uh, a different mod on it which is uh, actually gingerbread. Both of these phones even though two years apart are running the same version of Android. And you can see that the, uh, the Galaxy S is already booted up and ready to go. It just finished scanning a 16 gigabyte card that's in it. The Hero has a, a 2 gigabyte card but it's not even at that point yet. Alright, now we have the Hero. Loading 2. Not sure if you can tell, the, the Hero has a pretty nice colored screen too with that background, but the uh, Galaxy just blows it away. Alright, here are both the phones. Um, they're actually both running Android Gingerbread, or 2.3. Uh, you can see that the Galaxy pans very easy, very snappy. And that's it with the live background. If you can see in the back, they have the. This is the. Uh, I think it's called Life or something. You can feed the little bacteria by tapping it, and they eat, grow, and reproduce. So all that's running. The uh, the Hero just has a static background. Um, you can also scroll. I don't have as many widgets or things loaded. Many of the screens are empty, but it scrolls from side to side. Uh, our apps scroll up and down on the Galaxy S Epic Touch. They scroll side to side. All right, as far as thickness, we can see that the Galaxy is actually a lot thinner than the Hero. Um, also feels actually lighter. Not to the point that I'd say it feels cheap, but just to where it's actually lighter and easier to, uh, to handle. Alright, there's some menu buttons across the bottom that light up upon use. Uh, whereas the Hero menu buttons were in kind of an aluminum bezel cover. Also there was a trackball. And then the uh, talk and off and on power and call button. On the Galaxy, there's a menu, home, back, and search button. The power button is located on the side. It has a headphone jack on the top, volume on the other side, and then thin USB on the bottom. The speaker located on the back and there's an 8 megapixel camera and flash also on the back. It's a front facing camera and a light sensor and flashing LED for notifications. Alright, so I'm going to take some video with the, uh, and maybe a few pictures with the Galaxy S so you can get an idea of the uh, quality of the 8 megapixel camera. It does have a flash that's fairly bright. Alright, so now we're outside with the phone and we're gonna utilize the camera. Actually, video is what I'm mostly interested in. So, uh, this is showing up. It has an HD camera. And I guess I'll show you this once with my current
Kodak HD video that's filming the camera and the rest as of how the phone camera video that Needless to say, it looks really good on the camera, but the question is, how will it look on the screen? Alright, here's another sample of the HD video. All right, another cool thing, it's not quite as refined as the voice recognition on the Apple uh, iPhones, but nevertheless, it is pretty functional. Hi, Galaxy. What would you like to do? Text Allison Shear, I love you. Send text message to Allison Shear. Message I love you. Say send. Cancel or speak your message again. Send. Message sent. So that can be really convenient at times when um, when you can't uh, text with your fingers. Now although um, it's been somewhat refined with uh, the Galaxy 2 I was able to do this previously with my hero that was also running Android 2.3. Hi Galaxy. What would you like to do? Call Crystal Dumper. Placing call to Crystal Dumper. Alright, we're not actually going to call. But, uh, so, I mean, those kind of functions were already present years ago. Um, just uh, seems like it's all so new since what Apple, would you like to do? Apple has really pushed up uh, that that was something new with their Siri. And to give them credit, uh, it is a little bit more refined. Um, it answers some other questions, you know, that uh, you can't do with, uh, with the Android, for example. Hi, Galaxy. What would you like to do? What's my name? Sorry, please try again. I said, what's my name? Sorry, I did not understand you. Please try again. What's the weather in Robert, Louisiana? Web search. What a debose semicolon as the weather in Robert, Louisiana. Okay, so it's uh, not as artificially intelligent maybe as uh, Siri is, but it still gets me to the information and frankly, I don't care whether my phone uh, can tell me what my name is since I know what my name is already. But uh, it is nice that you can search for gas stations, restaurants, all with voice, but again, this is something that was part of Android two years ago, so uh, there you go on that feature. Alright, a couple more features on the Galaxy S2 Epic Touch from Sprint. Um, just on the main faceplate of which there are seven, and we can scroll through them if I can get my finger in the right spot. They're all customizable, but it came uh, out the box with the clock at the top and the weather. I have it set to update whenever I click right there to cut down on battery usage and uh, use of the network. 
Alright, it also has uh, an integrated email inbox. I can click on all inboxes and it shows me all of my emails from all the sources or individually from the separate emails. Uh, contacts. We can scroll through with photos. I don't really want to go through many of the apps because some of the apps are the same on uh, other phones. So you can check those out. The gallery looks like the standard uh, gallery for uh, Android phones. Not too many pictures in here yet, otherwise you'd be able to scroll back and forth through them. One of the features I really like is the task manager that's integrated. And you can click that up and you can see if there's two things running. I can exit them independently or just press the button to exit all. Downloaded apps. This gives me a condition of the RAM uh, and then my storage. Uh, it is interesting that this phone has three uh, storage banks, whereas my previous Hero just had the card and the memory inside. We have two gigs of phone memory. Then there's another 12 gigs of USB storage in the phone. And then I have a uh, 16 gigabyte card, micro SD card. So quite a bit of memory. You see my card's full, mostly music, but uh, I have I'm not sure how many apps, but quite a few apps as you can see here installed. Uh, it looks to be about 20 or 30 of them. So still plenty of room in the phone base memory even after having uh, about 30 apps. Uh, so back to the active apps, I can hit exit all and it kills those apps. Uh, in case they were potentially using the battery or any kind of uh, resources. You can see the live background here that I have on here today. I went through last night and found a bunch of them and tried some different ones out. This one's hyperspace and it kind of flies through space and through wormholes. Pretty interesting effect that goes on in the background. So, battery life is pretty good so far. Um, I've been using it all morning. I just plugged it in when I started making this video about 20 minutes ago, and it's fully charged already from the USB. Um, so, it seems to be a fantastic product, and I highly recommend it if you're thinking about getting a smartphone, especially if uh, you haven't upgraded in two years like we haven't. Uh, this is just a tremendous improvement over what we have. Absolutely incredible technology. Alright, well, leave your comments below if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to try it out and try to give you an answer. Um, so I look forward to hearing from you. Alright, have a great day.